Hello guys and welcome back to another video for the M Creator build series. So I just wanted to show you that uh, the progress that we got on the actual second part of the dungeon. So I created a quick structure just to see what it would look like and when it actually spawns in and uh, see if there's any, um, if the actual bottom part does spawn in with the structure and actually I did manage to get it working. So if we go in here, uh, some of the actual stuff doesn't um, generate. There's another structure that I noticed over there that it had um, some brass and stuff in there. But as you can see, uh, the bottom part of the structure does spawn in. So I did manage to get it to spawn in uh, using some of the um, some techniques and stuff like that. But that's uh, we will definitely be able to do that. Another thing that I was able to do over the course of the weekend week kind of is basically um, figure out the best way to kind of get the uh, X and Z spawning location this one's really far off Wow um, so basically you can basically uh, generate structures uh, next to adjacent chunks and it will do that but there's a certain way to do it and um, it's not something that can be uh, per se easily done and there's a lot of information that needs to go into it uh, for the video because it's actually you have to like force load the chunk and using a plug-in and a whole bunch of other stuff so it'll probably be a series when I do do it uh, just to kind of give you an idea the complexity of it uh, the chunks actually do get modified um, when the chunks are force loaded, so it can increase the load time for the, the map and save time and stuff like that. Um, and it's important to unload the chunks as well after it's finished basically generating. But, um, uh, of course there's dangers with keeping them loaded because they're all, actually all the processes and stuff are constantly loaded in the background of the world if they stay loaded so it's important to uh, basically force unload them after the structure is spawned in but um, I will cover that in the near future I need to still do a lot of testing kind of figure out um, any additional things I want to make sure that I get the information correct the first time and um, it also uses a plugin Golder Ion made for a project that I am working on it's called chunk manager but I'll explain more in the future on that for sure okay so let's go into our building world I'm just going to disable all these structures so they don't end up spawning in our building world and then we can continue decorating and stuff today Alright, so we're now in here, and I got all the um, necessary parts filled out, so all this is, should be set up uh, for the structure voids and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not sure why the uh, entire chunk was um, all air, so that was kind of interesting because all these structure voids should have filled in, which is like really interesting. And I did the other one as well, so that's all set up, ready to go. Uh, Alright, so let's um, just disable these air blocks so we can actually see what we're doing. And I'm going to turn off that. And I think what we'll do is we'll hopefully, it might be a little bit of a longer video this episode because I have quite a bit to actually do. Uh, we need to decorate all this and get that set up and then we also have the bean structure itself so we have a whole bunch of different types of blocks and stuff i don't think we're actually going to be using tnt um per se in this particular build but we'll be able to um maybe set some traps and stuff like that i don't know if there is any we we can actually set traps it seems like a pretty tight build so we'll have to see if we can't figure something out but it might be a little bit difficult because of the way that I have it set up. Maybe we'll be able to put something here. Not sure. Right there, maybe? Ooh, yeah, that would work. Okay. Um, if we alterate this just a little bit, then we would be able to... do something with this for sure. And 
just want to make sure that people can actually avoid it. Um, okay, I do need to do some testing before I end up putting down the um, TNT because I don't know if undoing a tripwire hook would actually trigger the um, TNT to go off. So we'll have to check that out. I don't need doors. I need just a regular block. Okay, so let's go over here far away from our build and we'll put some things down like we would with our trap and then I'll just kind of go like not that side, this side. Put some string down and then what we'll do is we'll put our TNT on the other side. Okay, yeah, that would potentially be a problem. Um, hmm. Okay, so alternatively, uh, what we could do is pressure plates like they did in the other temple. And I think this landing is solid. So we could do something here, I guess. And then we can fill it in. Um, there's only, the only problem with that is there isn't a sandstone slat or pressure plate. So, yeah, that, that will be a problem. Because it'll be pretty obvious. So, I'm wondering if we would be able to do some wood ones maybe. We can maybe put some wood planks down like this and that would kind of decorate it a little bit where it will make it a little bit less obvious we could do something like that as well just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural we'll do this side as well and the tnt can go into this one here And we need uh, this. Put that down like that. Perfect. All right, so that will be our traps going down to that part. Now, it won't affect the main structure per se. Um, like where all the loot is. So that's going to be a problem. However... Hey, depending on how we do this, we might be able to fit. Not sure if that will actually, is that directly above? That's almost directly above. Yeah, I like this idea. Okay, so we could do the tripwire hooks like this. And when you're coming down, you shouldn't be able to notice. Okay, maybe you can notice a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll put these off to the side. And then we will... Have, um... The tripwire hooks... On the, um... Inner part here. And then what we can do is uh, run the, what do you call it, the uh, string right across the middle here. So they'll all connect up to the main part. And the only way down should be the corners, which um, will make it a little bit easier to kind of avoid. But if you were to basically drop like something like sand or something like that in the middle then it might uh, trigger the uh, thing to explode so that would be definitely an interesting uh, mechanic to have um, that should be good uh, we're just going to fill this in Oop. okay we'll have to fix that a little bit So there should be okay, all those 
think we got all of them in now. Oh, might be placing them all over the place. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Uh, then we can basically go and... Actually, why am I doing that? I could just use the fill command. It'd probably be a lot easier. So what I'll do is I'll just fix that up. And then we'll go slash fill. Select the coordinates of that. And then we'll go over here. And then we'll select the coordinates of this. And then we'll go um, smooth sandstone and... That's great, but I might have just replaced the TNT. Yep, okay. So I'll just fix that up quickly. Alright, so then we'll do the other side here. Slash fill. And then we'll fill this other side. Uh, we just need to find the structure void for it. And then we'll go and smooth sandstone, and then we want to replace structure void, and that will basically allow us to go over the structure voids only. And then we can go fill, select the coordinates, and then we'll go to this one, and we'll select these coordinates, and then we'll go smooth, Smooth sand stone and replace structure void and that didn't seem to have one there so we'll just fill that in okay I'm just gonna turn that on just to make sure that I didn't miss any parts looks to be all fine okay that's good I'm pretty happy with that so we'll turn that off and uh, yeah so that that will be um, set up properly now. That's good. Uh, let's go on to the decoration now that we got the traps in. Uh, we need some lights and stuff in there. Uh, I also have some barrels that we can place down, some chests. Um, some of these chests will just be empty. Uh, some cactuses and dead bushes. Uh, we have some other types of things as well that we can put in. Uh, some creeper heads. I was thinking about making a creeper spawner in there. Um, might be a little bit OP, but I think it would be pretty cool. And um, let's see here. Where can we put some of these lights? I think we might be able to fit a few in these spots here. These will kind of light up the upper floors and maybe a little bit of the lower floors as well. Should be bright enough with the skylight here for that part. And uh, I don't want to kind of give away that these parts, so this part will be dark. And we'll just fill those in because we don't need that there. Now, the important thing uh, for this part right here is this is actually a block that I've set up. Um, that we can't remove because it requires the... Um, it's how I'm basically spawning in the bottom half here uh, for the structure, so you can't really change that. It will uh, actually turn to air when it basically spawns in the structure, so um, yeah, so we'll just have to work around that when we're actually doing stuff, but we can use some of these other things to kind of decorate with. So we'll just kind of move that out like that. I think we had this that before and <clears throat> we had something similar to that and then we can have something like there now uh, that leaves this darker area back here so what I think I'll do is we'll have the creeper skulls back here uh, we could do one there one here one there and I think they're used in either fireworks or um, banners. I can't remember what they were actually used for, but um, they do have a purpose actually in vanilla Minecraft. We can put some dead bushes and some cactuses 
in these parts roughly, so we'll do that. Uh, we can even put some barrels and stuff down over here, maybe. Just to kind of decorate it a little bit. Uh, like if it was, um, I don't know, wine barrels or something like that. Um, now we don't want to put too much down in this section because of the lava, and I, I don't know if the, um, the, uh, chests and stuff are actually flammable, so I'm just going to put some other cactuses and stuff in these parts. I think that will be a good addition. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a cactus on either side like that. And then we will... Put a dead bush in, in the center, and that will look pretty good. So yeah, that looks like it's already starting to come to a life. We'll do the same for this one here. We'll just put the um, dead bushes in the middle and the cactuses on the side. And uh, one of the things that I actually like to do is put a... Um, flower pot on some of the barrels and stuff it just kind of decorates it a little bit and you can put things like dead bushes or any other flower pretty much and works out pretty nicely all right so that part's good um sadly can't we we can't actually put paintings in because they're considered tile entities and i don't think i think they actually have a problem they have had a problem with um copying with structures so i don't think that will actually work, but uh, we can add um, some stuff on the upper floor, I think, will be good. So uh, we can put some more things in here. We can actually take this out, and we can put some barrels in some of these. So we can do some barrels there, some barrels over there. Uh, I can fill those back ones in with, um, what do you call it? The... Um, flower pots and stuff. I think that would work out really well. Uh, we can go like this. Uh, we'll have, um, actually, you know what? Let's remove that. We'll pick up these cactuses and then we'll put the cactuses on in the center and the dead bushes around and the other side. I think that would look better uh, because we already used the pattern down below so it'll give it some variety and it should look pretty cool up here as well so we'll do this and then go over to the other side and then we'll go and we'll put in these like so and again with the um the decoration for the uh parts here we can just put some random flowers and cactuses in no particular order just do something like this and that will decorate it a little bit more than if it was just the barrels themselves all right so now that we got that part done I'm going to go up here because we have all that space underneath and I'm just going to kind of put some flower pots in the parts that we can't really go into uh, this will give it some decoration as well as um, utilize the space that's not basically being used too much. So we can do something like this and that will kind of give it the impression that there's some stuff up here that could basically be set up. Uh, another thing that we can probably do is create a small overhang like so. I'm not sure if this will be great but we can try it. like that so we could do something like that instead and um, I'll just give the um, build a little bit more character so we need that we'll fill this in like this and fill this in and then we'll fill that in like those and then we'll fill this in like that and we just need to basically fill. So we could do the corner pieces like that. I think that will give it a little bit more detail. And that's already set up that way. Perfect. All right. So that will look a lot better than just having it um, kind of end on the slope there. So that looks good. 
All right, so now that we got that done, uh, let's go over to our other build while we still have the flower pots and stuff set out. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna remove some of these parts, turn them upside down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some flower pots in these parts just to kind of decorate it. And then what we can do is uh, just kind of like a cactus here, here, uh, here and here, and then we'll do dead bushes on the other ones. So like that. And then when we do set up the um, loot tables, what we can do is we can put the loot, the chests in these sections here. And then when you actually go down and avoid all the traps, then what you can do is you can actually loot it and hopefully get back up without triggering the TNT as well. All right, so that's good. Uh, we got the that part all settled. So let's go into here and we have some other things that I have for decoration. We got some trap doors, some uh, doors and stuff. Now we can use a whole bunch of these interesting things to kind of decorate a bunch of things. They're not just your basic um, parts here. There's tons of things you can do with these things. So um, yeah, so I think that'll be good. And uh, let's go over here and got that part there. So what we could do is we could do kind of like a creeper flag area like that. I think that would look really good. Um, that actually goes over the thing. So we could do like three on these sides. And then what we could do is we could do three on these sides. Whoop. Two there, three there, and two there, and um, do a couple on these sides as well, just to kind of decorate a little bit more, and probably fit a couple right there as well. And then in here, put uh, a couple here. Now, obviously, this is going to be kind of like a creeper-themed build, so. Uh, yeah, so it'll be a little bit more focused around creepers and stuff. And then down here, I don't think banners can actually catch fire. Let's test that theory. I'll leave that there and just see if that actually catches fire or not. Um, I don't think it will. Hopefully it won't. I don't want to take away from the creeper um, parts here. So maybe put them like that. We could do one right there as well. Something like that. And then we could do a couple more flags in here. Uh, one there and one there. I think that'll be good. And then we got doors and stuff too. So we could do um, a whole bunch of different things with these things. Uh, we could do kind of like a dining table set or something like that. Um, it depends on what we're going for. Uh, we could do a throne back here, maybe. So to do a throne, I would probably do something like that. And build it up with um, other parts. So uh, we would want the planks or something. So some of this. So there could be like a throne thing right there. So that would work. Uh, we could also use some carpet. Now I didn't have carpet laid out, but because we're using cyan for the other parts, we could actually have like a carpet going up to here. And that will kind of indicate that it's kind of like a temple area. So you'll walk in, you go that way. It should be safe to put it along here as well. So we'll go up to this point, roughly around there. And we can even do a couple of these ones. Going that way. Going this way. We could do kind of like a branch off like that. So something like that. 
And uh, let's see, what else can we put down here? We could do some tables and stuff. Um, might be able to put a table or two in this part. Maybe. Um, oh, no, I have an idea. Uh, what we could do is we have all this space right here. Um, not a lot of space, but just enough to put some tiki torches in. And we can use the torches. They work actually really well right now without the candles, but uh, they work good for tiki torches. And then we could do some on this side as well. that and that will also add some extra light as well as kind of give it a kind of tribal feel actually I don't want um, that many over here I think we could just fit one of them in right in the center here that would probably be just fine Oop. Nope. Need that there I think that's there nope that was that one okay so we'll do that Perfect. All right. So that's good. Uh, looks really good on this floor. Uh, let's go and go down one particular thing that we can probably figure out what we're going to do down here. We could do kind of like a um, seating arrangement, maybe. Let's see one there. We could do something right. Yeah, because we want to avoid the lava, right? So I don't want to put too much wood around the parts that might catch fire but um, it's trying to find do we have a yeah we have that so we can put a pressure plate down here pressure plate down here and we have some buttons as well these are actually really good for um, the um, kind of builds for like Egypt and stuff like that you can actually do some of the um, decoration now we don't have a lot of places that we can actually put them right now but do something like that this will decorate it a little bit more than just having it like that so that would look really good and then we can do the other side here looks like little studs that come out for the wood supports so that's kind of like the theme that they're used for. And um, let's see, what else could we do? We could do something along that look okay. Yeah, we might be able to do that. We'll do the other side as well. So yeah, that looks that looks really good. All right, and then uh, we just need some seating area. So um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for chair or Kesia stairs, I think. Not sure where that is. There it is, right there. So grab that one, and we'll go back inside. It's already looking really good. All right, so let's go down and hopefully our fence posts haven't burnt should be out of the way where it won't actually catch fire um, it is underneath the um, the wood there so it should be fine uh, I think we might even be able to do that should be fine if it burns that's okay too shouldn't catch too much on fire hopefully <laughs> um, we do have this uh, part here so I, I don't know the exact mechanics of the, the firing spread, but uh, it does look like banners aren't actually flammable. So we'll put a couple banners like that just to decorate it a little bit more. All right, so that's about it. Uh, we still have the spawner that we need to place down. I don't know if I have a spawner out here or if I need to spawn one in. Uh, we'll quickly go out and find our chest it's somewhere around here. I do not have a spawner that I can actually use. So I'll just spawn one M slash give and then at a spawner and we'll be able to place down 
creeper spawner or two in the actual build. So we'll go down into the basement. And this will be an extra layer of security. So if they try to get down here, then it'll be a little bit harder. So we, <laughs> by default, it's a pig spawner, which is actually kind of funny. Um, switch that to a creeper one by selecting creepers. And we'll just quickly go butcher the um, pigs because I don't want them running around. I actually have it set up in this world so that no entities actually do spawn like naturally. So this is the altitude and it's actually technically a void. So I don't want to kind of keep it that way. Okay, perfect. All right, so that about does the video. Um, next episode, what we'll do is we'll work on the loot tables and then we will finish putting in our traps. So um, I left them out this particular video because we still need to get into some of these places to um, finish up some of the stuff. Uh, so that the pressure plates and the string needs to still be put into place. So when we have the loot tables all set up. We can finish up the trap down here. And then we can also put in the pressure plates in the um, actual structure on, I believe, if I remember correctly, it's these parts right here. So we'll be able to put some pressure plates here. It should be hard to actually go around like that, but they'll be able to disable them if they're smart enough. And the only concern that I have is creepers because there will be entities that spawn in here so we might want to consider now we don't have any tnt in this part i'm just going to do something really quickly uh, we have those fence gates um if i can find the chest again i think i built it on the back side of the uh structure so we have these fence gates and uh, that might actually play a a decent role in preventing entities from triggering the um, the TNT so what we can do is we can do something like that instead and they won't be able to get up this way naturally to trigger the, the parts there like entities will probably be able to still spawn over here and stuff but um, Hopefully people will get to the loot in time. All right, so outside of that, that's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, con comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.